Hey, it's Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. I wanna do a quick video before I go into setting up your developer account on how to recover from certain situations. A lot of times when we're working with an iPhone app and we don't know exactly what we're doing, we can break things. And when that happens, it's good to figure out how to fix it. So one solution is to quit Xcode. You can just right click on Xcode and hit quit and you can stop any active apps. Just hit stop all tasks it will go away. Sometimes you wanna quit the simulator. So we can right click on the simulator and just hit quit and that will go away. Next, we can just start it up again. So just click on Xcode. That's gonna bring the window back up and we can reopen where we were last working. And when we do that, we can see our project again. We can try our app, see if it works, behaves any differently. For whatever reason, Xcode does default to the plus size. Just switch this to the iPhone 8. It's gonna be a lot faster to boot up the iPhone 8 than the iPhone 8 Plus. So if quitting Exo doesn't fix the problem, sometimes switching between the different files will fix some of the layout issues I've seen with Xcode 9. So you can do that as well. And uh, another option is to restart your Mac. So just reboot the Mac, close everything, save everything and try that. And uh, another good option, which I highly recommend is that you just start over. Just create a new Xcode project. So if you go to File, New, Project, you can just create a brand new project and you can start whatever tutorial you're, you're working on. You can start over. Just add this to your projects folder, try something out. I create lots of Xcode projects. You can see that I've got a growing number of projects here and anytime I'm testing something, I'm creating projects, I'm trying stuff out, I'm trying code, I'm trying UI, I'm following someone else's code, I'm downloading something from Stack Overflow. There's lots of options for trying to figure out what's going on and why things aren't working. Start over, again, don't forget to change your simulator, quit Xcode, try it again, and if that fails, I will have another lesson on fixing common problems that beginners make but I just want you to try and follow along with the tutorials in this course series. And I think that you'll find that a lot of the information that I provide is gonna help you. So in the next video, we are going to set up your developer ID so that you can build your app and run it on your iPhone. All right, let's get started with that. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects is gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.